Hello, hi, welcome. Libra, welcome. This is Scorpio Spy. We're doing a tarot reading of partnerships here today. That's the vibe. Okay, so you, your situation, and your person. Then we're going to see how you guys are seeing one another, what you want from the situation, your next moves, and then I shall pull you a two-week outcome. All right, we might throw some oracles on there. Also, advice guidance as needed. There you are, Libra Justice Energy. Okay, Libra, your situation and your person. Okay, you actually pulled some Libra energy, the back of the Three of Swords for your side. Your situation is the back of the Knight of Pentacles. And your person is the Seven of Wands. Hmm. I feel there's someone here not being very considerate of your thoughts. This is the person that we're dealing with. Um, they're also somewhat in a defensive stance. We're going to take a look at that. Okay. So bottom of the deck, let's just take a peek. Okay, yeah, cat's out of the bag here. Um, I feel like there was something that was trying to be hidden for quite some time and it is now very apparent. This could have caused some sort of dissolution. Okay, so now it's almost as though, now that we know the secrets or what was trying to be hidden or what was in the dark, it came to light. So what are we gonna do with this? Like, what do I do with this information? What do we do moving forward? This kind of energy is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's see about your situation with the back of the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the back of the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. I'm hearing substandard. What does that mean? Referring to this. Okay, yeah. It's as though someone, okay, I feel like this is how it's referring to it actually. Someone's standards are not being met here. Mm -hmm. Something is substandard. The way that you're relating to this person, the certain blockages here, it feels like, nope, I'm not going to lower myself to this here because this is substandard. Okay, this is what I'm getting. What else is here? I feel there's something. There's some sort of, uh, I guess, in a way, like a separation and an attempt to kind of heal things or get some space. This is what it seems here. Okay, so let's see about you, Libra, because your energy is this back of the Three of Swords. It does look like something that you are getting over. So this is the side of the Three of Swords where it's kind of like, okay, yeah, that kind of sucked back there, but time for me to move forward is what we're seeing. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Imbalance, okay, Three of Swords. Yeah, look, see the justice comes out as soon as this happens. It's an imbalance. Um. I feel like you want someone to face some sort of truth here, or this is you facing the truth of the situation. Talking about this Three of Swords for Libra. Queen of Wands backside, the Queen of Swords backside, yeah. Empress, there you go. Very nice. Interesting. Um, so here's the deal. You yourself, Libra, is actually benefiting from being an Empress energy, which is anything Venusian, okay? So this is about, you know, taking care of yourself and making sure you are eating properly, um, sleeping properly, also enjoying some luxuries or art, okay, beauty, any aspect of value in your life right now is going to bring you back into balance, okay? Because I feel like there's something that is definitely unsettled between you and someone. So your stance is kind of like, let me just make sure my energy is balanced. And then we're going to see what happens. I do see that you're not yourself taking any approach. This is a more passive energy, but there is something here that you could be holding on to that is in the process of being released in the form of um, negativity, uh, bad thoughts, or some sort of, uh, yeah, some sort of grudge, especially with the back of the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. So two backwards facing queens here. You're kind of like, I'm not giving this person my attention. I'm not going to let them my note. I'm not going to let them know that I see them even. I'm not going to look their way. Um, they're not going to see me. I feel like you don't want this person to be looking at you. 
but you are going through a glow up and then it's almost like you don't want them to see that you're upset or hurt about something here. Okay. Because your outward appearance is looking really nice. Tell me about this seven of wands with this person that we're picking up. Who is this person? Who is this seven of wands individual? Um, lots of earth energy here. The queen of pentacles. Nine of swords back side. Okay. And the... Um, strength card. This is someone who is trying to release anxieties and defensiveness here. I'm not sure that they're approaching you either because this is a very feminine energy as well. Um, yeah, like I said, we are starting from a place of saying there's some sort of break or I'm hearing resistance to change, okay? Someone is afraid of change here, and I feel like this is causing both of you to kind of go into your own corners. Well, well, let's see what happens here, because, yeah, Eight of Cups indicates someone kind of just abandoned the situation here. Yeah, I feel like someone was attempting to reach out, but they want you to reach out. So it's, it's both stances, what I'm seeing. It's like, well, if you have something to say, it's your job to reach out. That's kind of what I'm seeing from both sides. Interesting. All right. Let's see here. Let's see, Libra. How do you see the Seven of Wands individual? So there's a lot of energies in this reading. Some of you, this is dragging other people into a more public influence here, or it's like dragging people's influence is affecting your situation. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. How do you see this Seven of Wands individual, Libra? Okay, the death card. How do you see the seven of wands individual? So they could be a Leo. How do you see the seven of wands individual? Three of pentacles and the five of wands. Yeah. Six of pentacles and the ten of wands. This is someone that you feel is experiencing some sort of imbalance in their life in general. For some of you, it could be that they're needing to actually put effort into fixing a financial situation, making certain changes or actual physical moves here. And they're needing to actually take stock of their situation and kind of get the ball rolling, okay? You also may feel like this person is kind of dragged down by life during this time period or possibly they have a lot of people who are on their case here. This five of wands energy. This is also somebody who you may feel owes a lot of people in their environment, or maybe it's a feeling of theirs, but it does look like they, they're they having a hard time keeping up with relationships in their lives. Some of you, this is someone who's having a hard time keeping up with um, bills or like owing people something, whether it's energy or money, okay? But I do see that they are kind of trying to pull through this according to you. So yeah, this is someone attempting to get their life in order, doing the things that people don't usually want to do or things that are kind of difficult to manage. Or um, I'm also hearing this person procrastinates. All right. All right. There's some sort of exchange between you and this person that always causes a sense of friction or it is currently. And I feel like this is how you're primarily seeing this. I give, 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 and then it's too difficult for me to receive or you make it difficult to actually give back. It's something like this. I'm hearing pay it forward and you owe it to me. Okay. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Let me see here. How does this person see Libra? How does this person see Libra? I also see that some of you guys are dealing with someone who is, um, maybe they're job hunting or looking for a new there's like they're in pursuit of a new opportunity. All right. All 
Hermit, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. With the Page of Swords. Interesting. We saw the back of the Page of Swords on one of the... Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, but we've shuffled since then. Um, hmm. This is somebody who could be kind of checking up on you from time to time, okay? Or that they're seeing you looking for some sort of, um, I'm hearing looking for a reason, but I'm not sure what that would be about. They, they're looking, they feel like you are looking for a relationship or a, a partner, a boyfriend or a girlfriend here. Um, they may feel like you want some sort of assistance financially here okay or like you expect this and some of you this is because yeah look the six of six of pentacles just came out with the three of swords it's referring to you you're still upset about something that went down here and also an imbalance of energies or finances and i feel like this is heavily playing into this for some reason someone's capabilities to manage the financial situation here is not very good from what it seems tell me what else is here they feel like you're a good friend to most people here yeah, that you're healing from sort of some sort of disappointment and a betrayal and a heartache here. Also, that family may very well be heavily involved in your life during this time. Um, you also have a particular friend or two that is giving you a lot of emotional support. This is what they're saying, okay? Maybe a Pisces, a Virgo, okay? They feel like you're not open to any kind of emotional exchange with them here because you're you're still kind of getting over some bad feelings, of course. Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. What do you want with this person? They also see that you like help friends in need or you like helping people that you care about here, whether it's family members, especially family I'm seeing, but also your close knit community, like um, people that you keep close to yourself. You're always there if they need you or you need them. And that's what they're saying. They're saying you have a nice support system of other people here. Okay. What do you want with this person, Libra? What does Libra want with this person? The Ten of Swords. Yeah. The king of pentacles, maybe it's a Taurus, guys, or an earth sign energy. I'm also seeing some Gemini energy all around this person. They did come out with the nine of swords here. Um, some Taurus energy underneath the deck. Okay, you, you may want this person to like get their ego in check here or to kind of not feel like they have to be in a position of power all the time or like try to assert dominance over the situation. You feel like you may want this person to kind of just level with you or you've been wanting this person to kind of just have peace for once. Um, but the thing is, you may feel they have a hard time seeing other people's perspective or they don't agree with this um, perspective you have of them here, okay? So this is what you're wanting. I feel like, yeah, it looks like you've kind of, received some type of bad energy from this connection or this person here. And it feels like you're just trying to get yourself out of whatever energy you're in. And you've kind of been showing that here that you're just looking for a state of peace and um, to alleviate any kind of doubts or bad feelings. That's, that's what you're primarily wanting here. Um, Someone's loyalties are not aligned with you, Libra. So here's the thing. I'm getting that there's some sort of promise here between you and this person. It seems like there's like a promise or a commitment or just like a an agreement you have with this person to... I don't know, maybe be 
be friends or have some sort of relationship or some some common goal you have here and they kind of defaulted or they went back on that so they they ruined something with you um especially as it relates to like loyalties tell me what else is here yeah the eight of cups You may feel like your best bet is to just kind of not lend your emotions here toward this situation or this person. It could be that you don't trust that someone will be able to maybe even just be kind because there's somewhat of a nightmare situation that you are referring to about this, this King of Pentacles individual. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like your back is against the wall here and your only option is to kind of walk away because you're in search of something that's going to make you happy. Yeah, it could be an earth sign, guys. Maybe with a Leo placement or vice versa here. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. You yourself may have in your own specific camp here, another air sign, possibly a Libra. Or an Aries who you both, this is a side note, you both may be turning your back on this individual. Okay, what does this person want with Libra? Nine of Cups, all right. The Six of Cups, of course. And the Tower. Um, hmm, Sun card. Interesting. This is someone who is looking forward to kind of alleviating a lot of burdens that they're feeling because they remember how much you mean to them or how happy you guys were with one another. This is what this person's wanting to kind of restore things to the way they were, most likely prior to a tower, or maybe they're just wanting some sort of breakthrough to happen to kind of wrap up all the... Um, the intensity is what I'm hearing, but all the baggage that has happened here to kind of level it and give it a, I keep hearing level in this, in this reading. It's like something is being leveled. Um, okay. Like back to basics or something like that. It, it's yeah. I'm seeing like concrete floor. Interesting. This is someone who would want to restore it, but it's like they're aware that there needs to be like a massive breakthrough here in order to actually restore, first of all, the feelings and then as well as people being nice to one another because that it doesn't look like that's happening. It looks like this person's kind of frustrated about that. Um, yeah, see, this is someone who wants to have like an emotional connection or to have some empathy and compassion restored between you and them. And you yourself is looking at it like, I, I don't want to touch this with a 10 foot Paul. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see the Ace of Cups is back there. Um They want to be able to get over some mean spirited behavior or some deceit lies or some sort of like persona that someone was putting on here. Yeah, but see, I feel like something was really, really hidden between you and this individual. But they still have feelings. Maybe they even hid their feelings and they were just being so I'm hearing chauvinistic. OK, maybe. Something like that. Somebody is like trying to pretend they're something they're not or they were. Your next moves here, Libra. Libra's next moves. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is how we started. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. And the Two of Cups. Okay, the Four of Swords is here. The Hermit. Hmm. 
what you're doing right now is actually looking forward to healing and kind of getting in touch with yourself. Hermit, Four of Swords, Six of Swords here. And this is by choice. You may feel like you need to do this. It's like you're being led or guided to kind of check in with yourself here. I'm hearing check up. Okay, so maybe there's something about a doctor as well. I'm going to get to yours in a moment. Let me see this person's next moves. Because you do have a Two of Cups that you're heavily thinking about in your next moves here, Libra. This person's next moves. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. Okay, there's six and a six and a six here. This is someone who really wants to squash like some bad feelings here. Like specifically, it's bad feelings about one another um, from the past. Let me see what else is here. It does look like this person is holding on to the idea of you. Like they're wanting to materialize something, but yeah, see the Ten of Cups is here, the Ace of Pentacles, exactly, and the Page of Swords. They're, they're kind of looking forward to being able to make some sort of grand entrance or an appearance here. And if they do decide, it's almost as though they're going to uh, look for some sort of clues or, or something to that effect. And then they're gonna come in full fledged, like full of passion, hot and heavy is what it looks like to me. There is some sort of offer that this person is extending is what it seems okay because they're trying to hold on to the situation with you so long as people are going to be happy about it but that's their clue they want to know about that here they feel like you may be a little bit closed off um they also feel like they they want to tell you some sort of idea they have and i feel like they will be there's an idea this person has to communicate with you about some sort of plan that they're they're concocting here tell me what else i'm gonna get you a two-week outcome in a moment yeah the page of cups the queen of cups yeah so this person's gonna come in and say hey i understand why you were mad or i understand your feelings like it makes sense i feel like this person's coming in with an essence of validation this person wants to validate your feelings and they also want to be friends with for those of you that have been aries in your environment they want to be friends with this person here they could be asking about this person here okay that's a side note. Yeah, see? So here's the deal. This is what you're doing. Yep, Empress. This is so funny because these are exactly what came out on your side. This person's marching in. This Leo energy, this Gemini energy person, whoever this is, they're marching in. And you yourself is this Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. What are the chances that two cards are the same in two different decks, right? Next to each other. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Um, they're rushing in and they're like, hey, oh my God, it's almost like word vomit. I feel like this person, it's like, I've been trying to tell you this. I want to tell you, um, I'm sorry. I apologize. Like, can we be friends? Can we kiss and make up or whatever this is here? Okay. And they feel like they're trying to give you some sort of band aid is what I'm hearing. They're trying to, uh, heal this connection. All right. There's an opportunity coming in, but they also are seeing you in your energy here, which is pretty accurate. I feel like you're kind of, uh, you're there, okay? You may be moving a little slower than this person's speed. This is someone who would want to rush in and kind of make things happen quickly here with this Knight of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles energy. And you're kind of maybe doubting the connection, but it's still being offered. So let's see what else is on your side here. World card. The Three of Swords and the Hierophant. Yeah. And the Six of Cups. That's the thing. In your next moves, you're still thinking about some sort of disappointment here. Maybe that's not completely wrapped up, but I feel like this is in the process of happening for you, which we kind of started this reading with. Okay, this is someone who wants to come in and solve this. Solve this. Solve this. Okay, solve this with you. Ace of Cups is coming in. Healing of the past energy is coming in. All right, what else? Ace of Swords, the Death card. Okay. 
there's some sort of information coming to you about someone's energy. It's kind of different. It feels like you're dealing with someone who was at first maybe defensive or they were like acting like a tightwad in some sense here, maybe even financially like we talked about. But this is someone who, it's like you're gonna recognize a change here in this person. Oh wow. Their energy is completely different. It's transformed. This is what I'm seeing. There's the Empress and the Four of Wands. Okay, well, there's the Devil and the Three of Wands. Someone is resisting almost like, um, I guess, agreeing to something. Maybe it's the opportunity coming in, okay? All right, between Libra and this person in the next two weeks. Between Libra and this person. Intuition, the waiting game, and foundations. Okay, you're going to need to lean on your intuition here, Libra. Okay, if you feel like you need to wait or the timing isn't right, trust that. I do see that there are certain things that you're still thinking about, pondering, or filtering through. It does feel like a filtering process. You're filtering um, some, yeah, like we started, some sort of negativity or some something that's already happened here, okay? And I feel like it's not completely out of your energy, and that's why it's coming up like this. Partnerships and alliances. This person may try to pressure you or kind of put you on the spot. Just know that if you want to take your time, that's perfectly okay. Foundation and achievements. What else is here in the next two weeks? The power card, uh huh. Partnerships and alliances. Stand your ground. Again, it's that person here. There's an opportunity with this person, exactly. Crown chakra, solitude. This is someone who's going to tell you something in some sort of separation after you guys had a disagreement. I'm hearing devalued. Okay, maybe somebody devalued the other person here, but um. There's an opportunity, guys. Okay. It's like, can we start over? Give me a chance. Can we start again? Can we be friends? Can we mend our family? Whatever this is. Family right here. A victory and success. Moving on and patience. Literally, you're, you're yourself, you yourself is needing to be very patient with the process that you are experiencing here. That everything that you're thinking, everything that you're feeling here, that's kind of what you're needing to pay attention to, especially with the intuition card and the patience energy. Okay, because I feel like at the bottom of the deck, we're looking at lover's harmony, right? This is a lover's card. Yeah, prosperity begins with an ace coming up with it, but this is where the movement and the choices and decisions come in. You may say, tell this person, I'm gonna need some time, I'm gonna need to think about this, or I'm still kind of going through something. Maybe even if it doesn't have to do with them, but it does seem like it kind of does, okay? For the way I'm seeing this reading. Okay, so that's what you're needing here. Let me see if this person wants to say anything to you, Libra. What does this person want to say to Libra? What does this person want to say? Uh-oh. What does this person want to say, Libra? I'm so attracted to you. I want to be more than friends. Ooh. You were the best thing in my life. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, here's a massive return, guys. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Massive return here. You know, we are having a lot of planetary influences right now that's actually bringing stuff like this around. So it does make sense. And it does, it is kind of needing to happen on a grand scale so that people can filter through things, process things, learn, grow, expand consciousness here. Okay, that's why a lot of things happen between people because that is, I'm hearing the playing field, okay, to learn to grow. Libra, please. A card for Libra. Bottom of the deck. 
Okay, see, I told you something about giving and receiving and the imbalance here. Uh, the princess of mercy is here, Libra. I do feel like someone is asking for mercy, 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 okay? So this is, I feel, in your hands. Um, will you be merciful here? It says giving is receiving. The energy of the universe is merciful. Giving is receiving. What you put out will come back. But it's also a choice to show mercy here. All right. Lilith, the first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose a life that I desire to live. Yeah, I feel like this is your choice right now. And again, like I said, listen to your body, your soul, the, the way that you're feeling and thinking. This is very important right now because this is your intuition telling you something. And I feel like you already know what I'm talking about. Just listen to yourself. Um, I also feel like this is you not caring. If people want to box you in or say certain things about you or act like you're a certain type of person that you're not, this is you standing in your own power here. Because I feel something about that's going on as well. All right. Okay, Libra, love you so very much. Feel free to check your other placements or the readings here on the screen. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers. Peep and Tom, peep and Tom, down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.